Hi, it's Shay from Lunarine Art, and this is the Secret Garden painting. It has inspired an entire apparel line for the Lunarine Art apparel line. And it is a painting that I worked on for months, honestly. I would wake up in the morning painting this thing, and I would go to sleep painting this thing. It was as if I was making and remaking a garden over and over and over again. There were only a couple of things that never changed, and that is this cliff right here. That was never touched again after the first time um, that stayed the same. And the other thing is the boat slash staircase. This has never changed either. Basically everything else in this painting has had a very long life. <laughs> it was all done with a detail brush. Um, you can see the tiny, tiny dots of paint that are in there. And um, I must have spent hours just doing one little inch of this painting, really. It is supposed to be right here. You are coming over a hill and the bridge that you see right there, that's fog along with this right here. And then the bridge goes down into these bushes right here. And you can't see the bridge anymore, but it's presumed that the bridge escapes here. Now, I don't know why there are two escape holes from the one entryway, and they both come out the same place. I have no idea what I was subconsciously thinking, but there's gotta be something to that. Um, there's also a tunnel-ish look to the flowers that go across right here. And they look like they walk into that mountain right there. These flowers here were done very, very slowly. It took weeks to get these where they are. This entire side of the mountain probably took me a month right here, just right here. When I finished and I knew I needed to put my paintbrush down, <laughs> I think we all do that sometimes, the rock that was left here, I, I was going to cover it. I was going to cover it more like this one with the green so that it looks like it was climbing up the mountain. But when I finished, I had this jade coral marble look and um, I decided to leave it because I just, loved it actually. I thought it was very, very a pretty accident. But it was indeed kind of an accident. The pink roses that you see right here were extremely intentional. And the way that the roses and the garden in general sort of fade into this blue sun ray here that is meant to represent not of this world. This is not this world. This is because you just walked into a new realm. The Secret Garden is um, probably one of my very, very favorites for apparel. The detail in it can seem a little busy to some people, I think, on the canvas. Um, and it is. It's a little busy on the canvas. But there's so much work that went into this thing. A lot of energy was poured here. And when I put it on an apparel bag, suddenly all those little details blown up were very, very interesting. And I believe it came one of my best lines. If you also enjoy the Secret Garden apparel, I would run over there and grab some because it is going to be replaced. It will not be replaced this year, but next year, very early, probably January or February. And I do have a preview of the painting that will replace the Secret Garden painting. The Secret Garden painting could come back. Uh, I have no idea. So if you like it, go grab it. But here is its replacement when it is retired.
this painting was done in a very, very similar emotional state, if you will. It's waking up painting day and night. Because when I got done with the other one, I thought, well, what am I going to do now? <laughs> so I started this one. And I sort of continued my paths, if you will. This is a staircase here. And this is a staircase here. So there are two staircases that come out of the bushes and into this indoor cave waterfall that you can see through the bushes right here. And you can tell it's there. So you have no idea how big it is. So I'll tell you how big it is. It's huge. <laughs> All of the flowers that came here were done with a detail brush. All of them. There are specks of gold here that was supposed to be part of these vines that hold this flower right here. And the moss on the staircase was an endeavor that took me a very long time. I really wanted the moss to look like moss. I didn't want it to look like grass. Um, what I ended up doing to get the look, and it's kind of hard to say because sometimes I had to go over it a few times, but it's since then I've learned um, how to make that look that way right off the bat. And it's bronze and sap green. Maybe a little bit of black and a palette knife to go in and sort of create the ridges and striations. But bronze and sap moss will give you that look. If I pan the camera back, there is an obvious shape of an eye here. And this was designed on purpose this way. The staircase starts here and winds down and around, and it should look like you're going right there. And then there are trees. There are two doors in this tree right there. And there's a thousand other hidden items in this painting. I probably don't even know what they all are. And the top here was designed to be the other part of the eye. So the staircase is the bottom and the flower vine is the top and the trees are the iris. And the green the green that is on here was a labor of love uh, in itself. There are so many different shades of green in this, I cannot even begin to list them. But I spent a lot of the time with the trying to make the grass stand out away from the trees and the flowers. Um, and I think I accomplished that with time and patience and perseverance. <laughs> this part right here came probably last. This is probably the last thing I did to this painting before I decided that it was 100% complete. What I did though, is you can see this blue kind of a translucent blue that is almost like the life force of this garden. There's more of it right here. And there's a lot of moss on those steps. And the area where you walk down around the staircase and into this field of flowers was done with a detail brush and mags because I wanted to make sure that I could actually get those flowers to do exactly what they ended up doing. But I had to use mags to get them to look like this. If you don't know what mags are, mags are just glasses that mag up your eyes so you can see everything. Like anything tiny looks like a super huge building or something. It's a very, very good way to do detail work. Um, and not put a lot of extra stress on your eyes. 
So this is Secret Garden version 2. This is going to release January or February of next year. Until then, the other Secret Garden painting will be the face of the Secret Garden line, and it will be available through the end of the year.